Welcome to the very first Player 2 video review. I'm Steven Del Prado and today I'm going to be talking about Schrodinger's Cat and the Raiders of the Lost Quark from UK developer Italic Pig, who've partnered with Team 17 for this release. The zoo, it's, it's out of chaos and not the theoretical kind. How will we ever sort this out? We can't, but I know someone who can. Raiders of the Lost Quark is a puzzle platformer which harkens back to the 16-bit era when platformers were still the go-to genre for system mascots and movie tie-ins. Neat! I always wanted to see a neutrino up close. Uh, we don't have any neutrinos. Oh. But they pass through here all the time, hey? <laughs> it sticks to this aesthetic convincingly. Visuals consisting of level areas sitting flat over the top of moving background images and minimalist music to go with it. Titular character Schrodinger's cat is a literal representation of the physics conundrum of the same name. A mashup of Bubsy, Sonic, and many other 90s game mascots who deal in sarcasm as if it's the height of humor. Yeah, what is this stuff? Feels like that jelly they put in tins of cheap cat food, but more likely it's dark energy or underdense plasma or something. Whatever it is, it's getting in my fur, and I will not be touching it again if I can help it. Literal representation is a running theme throughout the game. Set in the Particle Zoo, Schrodinger is tasked with rounding up the escaped Gluons, Leptons, and Bosons with the help of a variety of coloured quarks. Combining these quarks in a certain order will result in different items and abilities, such as bombs and moving platforms, that can be used to solve the various puzzles thrown at you by way of the environments. While Raiders of the Lost Quark started out promisingly, it quickly began to grate on me. One issue I had with the Quark abilities was how quickly they're introduced. Unlike other physics puzzlers which generally pace out abilities over a period of time with a dedicated level to showcase the function of each one, Schrodinger throws every ability at you in the first 15 minutes and tells you to go for it. This wouldn't be a massive issue were it not compounded by problems with the game's level design. Areas in Schrodinger's Cat are made up of a mixture of handcrafted and procedurally generated levels. While the idea of near infinite levels sounds great, in practice it isn't very engaging. Randomly generated levels are playground like, with a number of different ways to navigate the obstacles. Quarks in these sections regenerate, which allows for the use of multiple quark abilities that can be quite enjoyable depending on how good a job the game's procedural algorithm does. Handcrafted levels are much more focused. Although they seem to be designed with only one solution in mind and only offer a finite number of quarks. I often found myself repeating sections as I didn't always understand what solution the designers were expecting me to come up with in some sections. These seemed to become more obtuse the further I got through the game, with wider gaps between checkpoints. Yeah. Compounding this frustration of the controls, which are floaty rather than precise. Mistiming a jump or failing to adequately destroy a barrier will also force a restart at the last checkpoint, something the developers are clearly aware of given that it can be done with a single button press. Issues with collision detection also resulted in me having to restart the game, as Schrodinger became stuck in a piece of geometry that happened to be a checkpoint marker. No amount of moving, jumping or quark ability could help me, and the only solution to this particular conundrum was to delete my save and begin again. Straight up, I have to be honest. Never having formally studied physics, many of the jokes went over my head. For a lot of people, I imagine this means that much of the humour will go over their head too. Designer Kevin Beamers has stated that you don't need a degree to play this game, but you'll probably enjoy it more if you've got one. It's quite clear the designers are passionate and knowledgeable about the area, and it's a shame a lot of their writing could end up going to waste. Before finishing up, I have to give points for the voice acting, which is quite well done. There are some rather lengthy cutscene conversations in the game that really benefit from that vocal spark given the lack of visual stimulus during them. This is a hit and miss game that can offer a lot depending on your tastes. If you love puzzle platformers and physics, or if what you see here simply looks appealing to you, then I'd suggest giving it a go. 
If Schrodinger's Cat and the Raiders of the Lost Quark sounds like your cup of tea, it's available to download now for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and through Steam.